What does that mean in your mind that the Senate or the people of Alabama would have to deal with a Senator Roy Moore? Well, look, the, the bottom line is that the people of Alabama deserved a better choice than the one they're presented with today. And I think that the Senate, should he be elected, should the people of Alabama make that choice, is going to have to decide. Obviously, he'll be seated. But equally obviously, there will probably be an ethics investigation that begins immediately, if not sooner, looking at these charges, these explosive charges, charges that, if they're proven true, would be completely unbecoming and unacceptable for a United States senator. Michael, it goes beyond Alabama, though, and this is the problem. What kind of perception hit do you think the GOP takes as we head into the midterms next year, if indeed there is Senator Roy Moore in place, and even if there is then a subsequent investigation going on? Sure, it sends a terrible message to potential midterm voters. At the same time, I think it's important to note that the Republican Party is not united in support of Roy Moore. The president is supportive, but the Senate leadership, the Speaker of the House, and Republicans across the country and across Alabama want a better option, want a better choice. What matters more for uh, the Republican base then, the president's support or the opposition by Senate Republicans and, and mainstream Republicans? I think that's one of the many complicated questions that voters in Alabama today are going to be sorting through. I think that the previous segment was exactly right. This is now about turnout. Are we going to see enough African American voters show up to vote for the Democrat? Are we going to see college educated Republicans, particularly those in the more affluent suburbs around Birmingham, choose to vote against more or just stay home? And will we see the sort of massive turnout by non-college educated white rural voters that President Trump saw in the presidential election and Roy Moore needs to get over the top today in Alabama? Uh, Michael, the, you mentioned the effect that this could have on the midterms coming up in 2018. And I have to say, it reminds me a little bit of the Mark Foley scandal in 2006. That was, of course, another year that was pretty horrible for congressional um, or for Republicans in Congress. They went on to lose the House that year. Of course, his scandal involved sexual overtures to a uh, congressional pages boys do you see a similar there could this just have like what did that do to the sort of Republican spirit late in the uh, election that year well it was crushing and I think that we're gonna have a couple of differences here one uh, the Foley scandal was the culmination of a series of financial and otherwise scandals that had dogged the Republicans uh, in the years leading up to 2006 allowed Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats to tag them with this culture of corruption moniker that was a really effective uh, election year s slogan. At the same time, that was much later in the year. And right. so I think that we still have the opportunity to recover from the debacle that would be Roy Moore in the United States Senate. What about the debacle that isn't Roy Moore in the Senate? What happens here if he doesn't win as far as trying to enact policy, given it will take that even tiny majority that the uh, Republicans have in the Senate down one notch further? Yeah, it's, it's, it would make it much more difficult to govern uh, the Senate from a party line point of view. It would make it much easier for Democrats to potentially win the Senate next year. So I think that just that because the Senate is so closely divided, just one vote makes a huge difference, which is why it would have been great to have a write-in candidate, to have another special election, to have some mechanism that would give the people of Alabama a better choice than a Democrat or Roy Moore. Michael, what's the greater evil here going forward for the GOP? Which result? I don't honestly know. I think that there is a there are terrible options down both uh, down both paths. I think that the hope, the dream, perhaps that Moore could win and fairly swiftly be turned out of the Senate and replaced with another Republican in another special election, is a faint hope, but probably the best hope. 